The war in Sada province in northern Yemen claiming more casualties as the Houthis assert in this video. They say these are the bodies of children killed during Saudi airstrikes which destroyed homes and burned down villages. And they display what they claim is military equipment confiscated from Saudi troops. But as the fighting continues, sources tell Al Jazeera that mediation is underway behind closed doors involving the Saudis, the Yemenis and the Houthis to put an end to the Saudi offensive and the Yemeni army military operation. The war has raised many concerns. At this rally, Yemeni journalists protest what they say are stifling and repressive government laws banning the press from covering events in the north. Samir Jibran is editor-in-chief of Al Masdar, an independent newspaper closed by the government because of this article which described President Ali Abdullah Saleh as a weapon of mass destruction. He has been banned from working as a journalist for one year. Journalists are paying the price for what is happening in the north and in the south. The regime is feeling extremely weak right now, so they are lashing out at civil society and the media. Yemen's political opposition has entered the fray, asking the president to form a coalition government and talk to the Houthis. The president is isolated from the rest of society to a frightening extent. He is no longer relying on the state institutions, the political parties, intellectuals or analysts. Because of this isolation, he is relying exclusively on Saudi Arabia, the US and the EU for support. The old city of Sana'a is home to Shia Zaydis and the Hashemites, descendants of the Prophet Muhammad. They ruled Yemen for centuries. Hassan Zaid, a Hashemite himself, is the leader of the Haq party, which was banned by the government over suspicions it is the political branch of the Houthi rebels. Accusations brushed aside by Hassan who believes the war in Sada is the result of a power struggle between two factions linked to the president. Our religious leaders issued a statement condemning the Houthis and criticizing their stance on Zaydism, saying that their radical policies are harming Shia Zaydis. But there is a Salafi faction in the government which launched the war to weaken the president and get rid of us, because by banning us, the president loses Zaydi support. For Hassan and the opposition, the war in Sada and the pro-independence movement in the south are the result of the absolute powers enjoyed by the president, despite a constitution that clearly gives the parliament considerable powers. Yemen is for the time being crippled by a political deadlock. Parliamentary elections were delayed and the president still rejects calls for a national dialogue and a political solution to the war in Sada. He has on many occasions accused the opposition of plotting to undermine him and his ruling party. Hashim al-Barra al-Jazeera, Sana'a.